everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Madison Page and let's just jump into the video so today's video is gonna be my October favorites yes I know nobody watches favorites videos anymore I got that given that my August favorites video had I don't know maybe like a hundred and something views and my September favorites video had nine not super sure what happened in between the times that I did those videos but uh, the world seems to have decided we don't do favorites videos anymore <laughs> however I almost never finish what I start and I wanted to finish this so I will be posting three more favorites videos so October, November, December, and then I'll quit. The one thing I am gonna do though is I'm gonna cut out the reasons why I like each thing. Mostly because it's it takes up all of the time. And cause if like nine people are watching the video anyway, I just I don't feel the need to explain myself to nine whole people, you know? Also, please forgive the way that I look right now. I was gonna put on makeup, but it is summer. Well, it's pre-summer summer and it's really hot and the idea of putting even a little bit of makeup on makes me want to eat my own toes. So I'm not doing that, especially since I've run out of tinted moisturizer and so the only thing I have is like actual foundation and like I'm just, I'm not prepared to do that. You will just have to deal with my ugly face, my here I have no excuse for it. it's just it is what it is to be honest but otherwise if you can get through all of that let us just jump into this video <laughs> So for favourite music this month, I don't have a small artist, I know, I did that for one whole month, yay me. But no, the reason I don't have a smaller artist is cause, one, I found smaller artists are vaguely hard to find, and two, the ones that I have found are artists that work in genres that I don't generally listen to. Not that like I have a problem going outside of my comfort zone, it's just that I haven't, haven't found anything that I'm into enough to make a favorite. Anyway, my favorite bigger music thing this month is actually an entire album. It is the Sixth the Musical soundtrack. I got super into Sixth the Musical maybe like two weeks ago. Their performance at the Olivier Awards came up on YouTube during like shuffle play. Fell in love with it, did the whole research the entire show and its history and then listened to all the songs thing that you know you do when you fall in love with something. Really liked all of the songs and the stories behind all of them and that was me. I've been listening to it every day ever since. I cried when the cast changed even though I'd known them for like two whole days. But yeah I have decided that I would really love it if Six the Musical came to New Zealand so that I could then audition for any and every queen. Can I sing every queen's song? No. Can I try? Yes. My favourite's not that like you're supposed to have favourites because that's like the whole going against the whole point of the show. But my favourites are Bolin and Howard just because their songs are... Fun's not quite the right word, especially for Howard's song. Enjoyable for me to sing? I don't... I don't know. They both got their heads chopped off so enjoyable's not quite the right word either. So for favourite movie this month, if you don't know how it works already, you're not going to. My big movie is actually Shazam. I know it came out like a while ago, but I've only just seen it recently. We watched it. I really enjoyed it. I don't normally enjoy DC movies, not because I prefer Marvel or anything, but just because I found as a filmmaker myself, they're just not enjoyable to watch. <laughs> but... Shazam was really good. I'm doing the reasons. I said I wasn't gonna do the reasons. I like Shazam and you That's it. That's all. My short film this month is a film called The Real Thing. It is about a army soldier veteran marine person. I don't know if they were army or marines. I can't remember. But they came home while they were away. Their son became their daughter and so it was about this soldier coming home to meet their daughter for the first time. This went in completely like the different direction that I thought it was going to go. It was really lovely and it will be linked down below if you want to watch it. 
So for TV shows this month, I just have the one again, and I have gone with Prodigal Son. If you don't know what that is, it is about a police consultant whose father is a serial killer, who is played by Michael Sheen, whom we love in this household. It's been compared to Hannibal a lot. It is vaguely predictable, but I still find it enjoyable anyway, and yeah. <laughs> So for YouTubers this month, same with the movies, if you don't know how it works then you're not gonna know. For my big YouTuber, well, bigger than me, is a channel called Kittysaurus. It is about, it's just cat videos, if I'm gonna be honest. The one that I saw first that really got me hooked was Cats vs Invisible Wall, and so it was like a glad rat thingy over a door frame. I think there's only like four or five videos on the channel. I have watched all of them several times because who doesn't love cat videos? The smaller YouTuber of the month who is still bigger than me is Shady Sadie. She is a person that I met on Twitter. She does lots of different types of videos. She has a series where she reads out creepy DMs that she gets from people. She does a lot of stuff. I thoroughly enjoy her content. <laughs> Oh, for favourite beauty this month, it's almost upsetting that I'm not wearing makeup now, but there is a particular shade of lipstick that I have. Hang on. It's this one. It looks brown in the tube, but it's actually like a purpley red kind of colour. I've been wearing it a lot lately. It's a very wintry colour, but I've started wearing it in the summer for some reason. And I just think it looks really pretty. So my favourite fashion thing this month, which I'm, I've decided I'm not going to get up and grab because I don't want to, is a train conductor type hat. I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but it's what they look like to me. But you guys have seen my pink one. If I can find a photo, I'll put it around here somewhere. I just got a black one because I realised pink doesn't go with everything. Um, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying wearing them at the moment. <laughs> So it turns out I don't have a swap out category this month. I started to write something and then I did not finish it. I don't want to try and come up with something on the spot. So my favourite food this month is salads. Super strange for me. Not usually a salad person. I had a salad for lunch and dinner that I made one time. And then the next day my mum made a salad that managed to last three days. And so I had salad for like four days straight and it was... A joyous time. Did I start following up the salad with chocolate like three days in? Yeah, but it's a start. So for favourite moment this month, I am going to have to say releasing Legacy, which honestly feels like forever ago now. <laughs> Actually, it was. It was one month on Ethan's birthday, which was the Monday just gone. So it was kind of like forever ago. Yeah, I released Legacy October 4th. I'm going to talk a little bit about it in the upcoming Legacy vlog, which will be going up on both of my channels. Well, two out of three of my channels. Though the one on my music channel will be focused more on the making of it, and the one on this channel will be using the same footage as that, but going with me talking about the cost of everything and all of that and whatever. I was super nervous. I'm still vaguely nervous because nobody really told me what they thought about it. My friend Connie is making a reaction video, which should be going up soon. And my friend Jess posted comments on all of the releases on the music YouTube channel. But apart from that, nobody's really said anything about it. And my negative brain wants me to think it's because people actually hate it and they don't know how to tell me, which, I mean, could be true. But my positive brain has decided it's because people were so shocked by how amazing it was that they just couldn't find the words to tell me. That's a load of shit. Don't think I'm serious. I don't know. It's nice to get feedback, but, like, I also I don't... I don't necessarily need it. I'm proud of what I achieved when making Legacy. It's kind of all that matters, really. And that's it. Those were my monthly favourites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below some of your favourites this month, as usual. Subscribe if you want Stream Legacy. The link for that will be down below. Tap the bell notification thingy to be notified every time I post. And I will see you next time. Bye.